This is three ways we're using AI in After Effects. Sometimes you need just a little more depth of field for those shots. This is why we've been testing and using Depth Scanner a little bit more in After Effects. And we've been getting some interesting results. Depth Scanner is a new plugin that is doing AI generated calculations to get depth information from your footage. Once you have depth information, you have a lot of control and flexibility of things you can do with this. Examples of things you can do would be increase the depth of field. You can color correct background separately. And depending on the shot, you could even add atmosphere into the background. If you're looking for a depth map from footage, but more depth of field in your backgrounds, this might be the AI tool you want to try out. After Effects Expressions. There are a ton of After Effects expressions, and if you're like me, you can't remember all of them. Fast way to get After Effects expressions instead of Google searching every time you want a loop effect going, type in a ChatGPT. If you make a separate conversation with ChatGPT and start to train it on After Effects expressions, it can create expressions for you that you might not even know are possible. The latest example for us is we're doing photos for a documentary. And of course, they're all different sizes, heights, widths, different scaling. And what we're doing is putting them into an After Effects template to give them a little bit of movement. So I asked ChatGPT to write me an expression that would always scale the photo to the top of the composition minus a few pixels to make sure it's still within action safe. Now when we need to add a photo to this template, it's just a matter of dragging the photo, replacing the current photo that's in there. It's going to scale automatically. All the camera moves and everything stays the same and we're able to export that clip out. Over 50, 60, 70, 80 photos that we have to export, it really starts to speed up the workflow and save a lot of time. On the visual effects side of things, sometimes you have to blur or block out that person's face or hide their identity if they're in a public area or during an interview. If any of you have done this manually and tracked the face, it can take a lot of work and take some time. This is where the AI face blurring plugin Blaze comes into play. We often work with clients that provide footage that they might want faces blurred or for confidentiality reasons don't want to show someone's face. The AI going on in the Blaze plugin is absolutely amazing. It automatically recognizes people's faces and then gives you a bunch of different options of how you want to blur those faces from the footage. If you're working with long clips or just a lot of clips in general, this can really be a time saver and help in post-production. And that's three ways we're using AI and After Effects together to help speed up our production pipeline. Hopefully these tips help with your production and we'll see you in the next one. personalities that they want to keep. Hopefully these helps help.